Hello, I'm gonna show you how to cut your own hair and get sprayed with air freshener. Uh, I don't know how well this is gonna work because I don't have a tripod or anything and I just rested my phone against a shelf. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Okay, um, so what you need, brush, comb, either or, or both. Scissors, hair cutting scissors. These are the ones I got for my cats, but I use them on myself too. Okay. So, start by brushing it. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is cut the length. And for that, you need ponytail holders. You get like four and put little pigtails in your hair and put the ponytails at the length that you want it to be. So, um, I will demonstrate. Try not to pull it like to the back of your head cause then it'll be uneven. I'm gonna go for like a chin length, like right, right here. I don't have my glasses on, hold on. Oh, in a trash can to catch the hair. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do the first cut. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't need to put all the pigtails in at once. Because once I cut this one, I can use it to measure all the others. There's hair on my phone. Okay, and then you just cut straight across. And voila, now, I can cut the rest of the length to the same length as this. And to do that, you just do like your hairdresser does, put it between your fingers and just do it in little chunks. Be careful not to cut yourself like I always do, because I'm a klutz. to be perfect this is just to get the length and you can straighten it out later and also <clears throat> you're in quarantine so like no one's gonna see it anyway all right now let's do this I'm just gonna lop it off and get it over with oh. I can't see what I'm doing it helps to have a mirror instead of a phone oh there it is now the other side. This is when you kind of pull it in front of your face like this. So it's even. And then you just compare it to the other side, right? The same way. And then snip, snip. I'm really getting it all over the floor, which you can't see. I will have to sweep after this. You might want to put down the newspaper or like an old sheet or something before you do this. It's also probably a good idea to put the towel around your neck to keep the hair from getting like in your shirt because that happens and I forgot to do that so I'll pay a price for it there you go now the rest of the side annoying part I have to say it's easier after this really what am I doing I need a long piece to cut let me do the front thing again there we go okay Take a guess. It's really hard to say. That's the hard part, but you kind of get get the hang of it after you do it a few times. 
and you have plenty of time to like straighten it out. I'm usually cutting my hair in the bathroom like once a day for a couple weeks afterwards. Like, wait a minute, this is still uneven. But no one notices. And if they do, they don't tell me. I think the right side's longer, but it will work on that later. Okay, and now try to get the rest of this. Here's some short, here's some long. Put them together. It's been a while since I've done this. I don't know if you can tell. Let's get it like here-ish. That's good. Just cut a little bit out of my way. All right, I'm gonna do the layers now. That was my comb. Okay. Now, let's do the layers. You flip your head upside down. And brush it. And then from the front, well, the back technically, but this front, right, you just take a chunk off. Don't worry if it seems like you're taking a lot off. It's not actually cutting the length. It's really just cutting the layers. That's how it works. Just because of the way your hair falls. It's pretty cool. All right, now flip back. Let me go in the mirror and you can get a better idea. Oh, now I'm facing the wrong way. Right. Now you can see the shorter pieces here. When I straighten it, it'll look better. But that's the layers that I cut. And you can kind of angle it if you want to. Um, just by trimming the front a little bit. But now, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna even it out, but you can see the top layer is a little shorter. In fact, I think I'm gonna cut some more of it. Hold on. Here we go again. Upside down. Push it all forward. Take a chunk. This is a good way to kind of even out the layers too. Um, oh wait, no, a little, a little more than that, a little more than that. You just want to get like the longest section. And just chop it off. It feels like you're taking a lot off, but you're not. It made me nervous the first time I did it and then I cut off a big chunk and I was like, wait, my hair is still long. I don't understand why this isn't working. Okay, flip it back. Ooh. This will work out. Okay. Okay, right, now I'm just gonna demonstrate how to even it out. You want to do like your hairdresser does, okay? Pull it towards the front, pull the sides together. Mine's kind of short. I don't know if it's around my face, but that's how you do it. Okay. If you go like this, you'll see. You know, one side longer than the other. That's actually not bad, honestly. Oh, I just got sprayed again. <laughs> and then, you know, you want to straighten it if you can to really get an idea of how long it is. And what also helps is when it's wet, like when you just get out of the shower, you can get a better idea of like, if there's longer pieces and you just need to chop them off. Sometimes you'll have some stray like hairs like these. Just poof. like, it's not really a big deal if you just cut those and if they're not perfect because no one's gonna notice if a couple strands of hair are a little bit shorter than the rest. And just kind of like pull it down. Where's my comb? Oh. It's wet now, okay. It fell in the tub. Now, you know, you can use your comb. I kind of go like this. This is hard to do with my 
left hand, but you can get a, a better idea. And see, I can see now that there's some longer pieces that I want to chop. And if you want to do it kind of choppy, you can like cut up, you know, like, I'm not going to do it because I don't really want my hair like that right now, but I've done it before with my bangs and it's pretty cool. No bangs for me. I'm just not ready for the maintenance. Okay. And then to get a good idea of the back, you do the mirror trick. I'm sure you've seen the mirror trick at the hairdresser. Hold the mirror behind your head. Okay, it needs some work, for sure. And to cut the back, I, what I usually do is pull it towards the front and just split it in the back and you can see when it comes towards the front, like how long it is and what you need to cut. So I'm gonna do some maintenance on this and straighten it out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna straighten it today, but um, I meant even it out. Uh, if I do, or tomorrow, I'll take a picture and show you guys the finished results. But trust me, it's gonna look better than this. Okay, so that's how you do it. Uh, no reason to whine and protest because you can't get your hair cut because I just showed you how to do it. Good luck.